I got to give your father credit for this. He had balls as big as an Irish broad's ass. There was this old, old mustache named Feech Lamont. Now, what the hell Feech meant, who the fuck knows, but he was made on the other side, so, you know, he was uh, an original. He was an old G. What a... We had this, this Saturday night card game, and uh, your father sees this as our big chance to step up to the A-League. Connected or not, him, me, and Tony, we're gonna rob it. We thought your father lost a marble. <laughs> but he said, fuck it. Balls? What happened? They took it down. They walked away with, like, 20 large. Jesus Christ. What do you mean, they? You didn't go? <laughs> Please. I'm still sick over it. I caught the clap from some hippie broad I was fucking. My dick was dripping like a busted pipe. Anyways, the rest is history. Your father and Tony was on a fast track to being made, and I was still a little shit here like the two of you. Then, of course, I... Whatever, but that was a few years later. Did they get away with it? What could Feech do? It was a sit-down, and the right people got some of their money back. Uh, Point was made. Todd and Tony were rising stars that had to be respected. O.J. Simpson's acquittal they still cannot accept, and now they're suing him in civil court. Simpson's attorney is outraged. Brett Goldman is philosophic. In Jersey, they'd have fried his worthless ass. Well, he's shunned on his golf course now. Oh, there he is, Zeppelin Fatfuck. Uh, all my briefs. Oh, what's the matter with you? My back. Fucking value jet. Trying to save 50 bucks. How was Boca? How do you think? Your uncle's quaking in his boots. I was there to pop him. Oh, and wait till we get outside, huh? Junior's looking for a way out, but he's got that iron rod up his ass. So he was in line to be boss. Now he's got to take orders from somebody who used to fetch him a Sambuca. Hey, fuck him. Is he gonna sit down or not? If Tony will guarantee his safety. You deal with it, all right, Tony? Make it Christmas. That's why I don't have to go on that fucking cruise. No sooner do I get back from Florida and they just booked a suite on the Dawn Princess. 5,000 bucks a week. No way off. Thank God come get seasick. We're staying home this year so Jackie can study for his SATs. Your know, Rowe found him a great tutor. Pray he goes to the state school. You ought to see Terry's bills from Villanova. And Matt and Kevin right behind him. Hey, Sal, you need money, you come to me. You hear what I'm saying? Don't be moving on H no more, puss. Too risky. I always wanted a house by the ocean. Maybe in another life. Next week, Simpson faces another challenge. The Goldman attorney is seeking access to Simpson's saturated financial with records in anticipation of collecting punitive damages. Corrado. John. Where's Bumpensiero? He's not here yet. He's supposed to be here. He broke it, the fucking thing. Hey, I'm here. What do you think? I'm gonna let him hurt my only uncle? No. Sit down. What the fuck were you? You better have a good excuse for why you're still alive. I'm sorry, Skipper. It'll never happen again. I hope nobody called Alistair. I told Ann Jones what you. Michael Ma's mother, we were in the hospital all night. TIA. That's a small stroke. She lost use of her left hand. It's coming back now, but I didn't eat, I didn't sleep. Did you I... get laid? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's as cold as your sister's head out there. You should see the crowd of little people. Jack Eagle, you know, how you doing, huh? You're a little great. Hey, Jackie, tell them what you told me in the car on the way over here. Come on, capital of Canada. Come on, Dad. Ah, the kid's got it up here. Oh, All right, give me a call. Come on. Oh, hey, Chrissy, let him in for Christ's sake. Yes. Good. Check out the bridge. Good. Right. Jackie, you're the boss. Tell him to leave Comley Truck and alone. Didn't know it was a Comley Truck. 
For 21 fucking years, Comley's been putting food on my table. Protection money. Hey, Chris didn't know going in. Bullshit. You are my DVD player? You can watch Grumpy Old Men. You're gonna be a fucking funny boy too now, huh? Hey! You Sopranos. Yeah, but Jackie, you go around hoping you and your uncle could settle a thing just the two of you. Not be invited to a fucking sit-down. You got fucking Chiricahuas working for you. You don't control them. Here we go. Here we go. Jackie, you got a ruler? The kids who hit that truck, they make restitution to Junior. Done. It's done. Christopher Moltisanti is a fucking loose cannon, and that felony kid, if ever... You should get a man out of a sick bed. Hey, fuck that shit. Giacomo, how you feeling? I may be acting boss while well, the old man's a guest of the government, but... I wish somebody to tell my bowels, because they don't obey. And a fucking chemo. Maybe I should name a successor. Day and age? Who wants the fucking job? Your mom tells me you got a girl coming in to help? That's good. All right. I gotta go. I'll see you soon. Huh? We okay? All right. The smoke he hires for his own mother. One of Gangland's youngest alleged leaders died late this afternoon at St. Isaac's Hospital. Turn it off. Turn the music off. Authorities called April the acting boss for 74-year-old Ercole Eckley de Mayo, currently serving a life sentence in Springfield Federal Penitentiary. Authorities believe he was made acting boss for the North Jersey Mafia two years ago. April was 44 years old. Thank you, Heather, for that live report. God damn it, I was just there. He told me he wouldn't go today. He's a good man. Let's do a toast. Give me a toast. To a great man. To a great leader. A great friend. A Jackie.